So the future of Twitter, what does it look like? After doing hours and hours of research, I, 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 I've got the answer. <laughs> So the big thing about Twitter is that compared to Facebook, Instagram and YouTube, it's not seen as a big player in the market. And that's where it goes wrong. We are comparing. You're watching Dontrepreneur and this channel is all about social media. So if you're all into social media, you want to earn money with it or just want to grow a following, make sure to subscribe because I'll post weekly videos about this subject that will help you get further. So the biggest thing in the market, what's going on right now is that we are comparing Twitter to other social media platforms, which is really wrong in my opinion. And the reason for that is that it's so extremely different from other channels. So for years straight, it's been so extremely essential for companies to communicate with your customers and your fans. By that I mean communicating product updates or communicating that your wife's pregnant or communicating big investments that were made. It's essential so that your clients know what you do and they will stay with you. So in the old days it used to happen by sending letters to someone in the mail or now emailing or maybe even calling someone through the phone. But besides calling, which is really time consuming, the other methods, emailing and sending letters, are really not inviting people to respond. Well, here's Twitter. So if you send out information on Twitter, you instantly collect feedback or opinions or needs of people, which is really essential for businesses to gain insight and to grow. And because it's really essential and there's no other platform such as Twitter, Twitter is amazing in terms of research and data and customer data. So if we know that, Twitter is really resourceful in terms of research and market data and gathering opinions and needs of your customers, which you really need to grow. Because if you don't know what your fans want, you'll just do stuff and you you have a higher chance of missing the target. So that's where it goes wrong. We compare to Facebook, Instagram and YouTube, which are really there to create brands. I mean, how often do you hear this boy of 16 years old who just exploded on YouTube and now has a career? Or this girl who is 22 and started posting model photos on Instagram and blew up too and had a career? Well, this is not the case on Twitter and that's why we shouldn't compare it to Twitter. Because Twitter is there to grow existing brands, whereas for Facebook, Instagram and YouTube, they're there to create brands. So creating brands and growing brands are two extremely different things. So there's this term going on in the world which is really often used and which is data is the new oil. You might ever heard of it, but it's definitely true. Many experts concluded that not oil is the most valuable research on the planet anymore, but it is data. And if Twitter is the king in collecting data, it makes Twitter extremely strong. So even though Twitter has a low user base, it's still the king in collecting data for free. So that makes it really valuable. Ooh. So that makes it really valuable and Twitter is not likely to die. So even though Twitter goes the wrong side and bankruptcy is around the corner, it's most likely to be supported by the State Department or CIA or FBI, which are so reliant on information and data. And also if you look at stock exchanges as the Nasdaq or the Dow Jones, they use Twitter so much in order to predict certain outcomes, so it's most likely not to die. So now that we got that out of the way, what does the future of Twitter actually look like in terms of updates and changes? Okay, so as we know now, Twitter is a platform to communicate with your customers and your fans and to get your message out there. So a big thing in the world right now is that people have less and less patience, they have less time. So things have to be quicker, which means if we know that Twitter is a communication platform to communicate with clients and stuff, 
It's also more likely to be more of a customer service platform, which it already is. And what's Twitter going to do with this? They're probably going to create features which improves the customer response. This thing keeps popping up, what the? And also that we know that Twitter is used for information. It's going to grow in information and it's probably going to update their filter system so that we can easily find and access existing information on the platform, which will have huge impact on the algorithm of Twitter and the findability of people. So it's a huge pro and it will probably attract more new users who want to be discovered. And speaking of attracting new users, they really need new users because compared to Facebook and Instagram, they have a really low following. So they're pushing really hard to attract them. And what they do is different from other social media platforms. Whereas for Mark Zuckerberg, which I talked about in an earlier video, you can find it here. So talking about attracting new users, Twitter really needs to attract new users because their user base is really lower than Facebook or Instagram. So how do they do this? They are going to create updates which Facebook and Instagram are not focusing on. And as we know, Mark Zuckerberg is really focusing on video. If you want more information about that, check that out. But Facebook, Instagram and YouTube are really video based and we all know the future is turning to video. But another thing in the future which is gonna happen, which a lot of people are not focusing on, is the subject we actually talked about. People have less time, they have less patience. And what this means, they need things or information to roll quicker. And a fast, extremely effective way to do that is audio. If you look at podcasts and maybe Google Home or Alexa of Amazon, these are systems you put in your house and you will talk to them and say to them, okay, give me the news in one minute and they will read up the quick news in a minute. So if you are a player who is focusing on that future, it's going to be a really good investment. So talking about Twitter, they're really focusing on audio. They just made a new update, which is called audio live streaming. No, not video live streaming, audio live streaming. And I think this is an extremely good move and will have benefits for them in the future. So if you're someone who has a podcast or does something with music or whatever, definitely try going to Twitter because there's a lot of updates coming. So there you go, the future of Twitter. Is Twitter going to die? Most likely not. Where are they going to focus on? They're going to focus on audio and creating faster response times for customer support. And what is it used for? Research and data collection. If you made it until the end of this video, then what are you doing? Please hit that like button to support me and to let me know you want these types of videos. And also hit subscribe if you haven't, because it will dramatically increase my view rate. And yet again, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.